There was no way that Becca was gonna be able to choose one gown for her wedding. We, we decided that she should get one dress from each of them. We're going around, so Monty's Guide, long sleeves, sweetheart neckline, lace, mm -hmm. beaded. Royalty. She is royalty, she's marrying my son. I love the uh, bodice of it and the way it fits the best. I love the sleeves. I don't wanna get choked up. It's really important to me that Becca is happy, she loves her dresses, and they have the wedding of their dreams. It's incredible. Someone made this for you. Someone sat there for hours and days and months and... Say yes to the dress Atlanta's Lori Allen's son, Corey, married his bride and th the love of his life, Rebecca Gunn, and it's the bride's journey to find multiple wedding dresses that are the feature of SYTTD's season nine finale. Look at her head. I mean, <laughs> yeah. like spinning. There was no way that Becca was gonna be able to choose one gown for her wedding. We, we decided that she should get one dress from each of them. No way I could leave out Matthew Christopher. Tiffany blue tea length dress. I just knew it was perfect for the going away dress. Decision to design the ceremony dress and who else but Judd Waddell. I am very, very flattered. Thank you, Matthew. We love you, Judd. These are things that collectively Lori thought would look great. That was gonna <laughs> keep her quiet. Why don't we start with this? Cause I think it has a lot of the elements you're looking for. We're going around. So Monty's guy, long sleeves, sweetheart neckline, lace, mm -hmm. Beated. The couple was introduced by his sister on a blind date at the Dalton Golf and Country Club. Afterward, they had a dessert at the sweet spot in downtown Dalton. The couple dated for three years, but Rebecca Gunn Allen says in the episode she knew he was the one by their third date. When it was time to pop the question, they returned to the country club for what Rebecca Gunn Allen thought was a dinner party. It was during Christmas time and Corey Allen suggested they stop in front of the Christmas tree to take a picture. On the tree was a hand ornament that said, will you marry me? See you in a wedding gown. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. We might need a wow. tissue, Judd. You ready? Oh. Wow. Becca. Who knew, girl? What are you thinking? Just on cloud nine right now. <laughs> love the neckline. Okay. okay. Love the little bit of bling. Do you like that? I love the sleeves. We see the bride to be preparing for the wedding by making some surprising dress requests. Asking for sparkles and gun even suggests a touch of the color red to Lori, who isn't impressed with Rebecca's preferred color. The bridal world giant is famous for getting people to say yes, but it was a little difficult when her son's bride was the one on the line. In the midst of high drama and often tears, her distinctive voice coaxes, questions, and soothes emotional brides trying to select a gown for the wedding day. And that's just what she did this time as well. Later, Gunn watches as her friends try on the gowns they picked out for her, although she proves to be hard to please. Very bridal. Love that. Uh, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to interfere here. Really? That's like asking the Pope not to pray. I'm gonna make sure this gown fits to perfection. Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. Start with Judd Waddell's long sleeve ceremony gown. I am so anxious to see my dress. I'm gonna have Monty come in the room, put your hair up, and then I'm gonna sit down out. I do trust Lori and I trust Judd, so I'm just really hoping that trust pays off. Ariel's looking good. Gunn quips about a turquoise dress that reminds her of the title character from The Little Mermaid. I feel like she looks like an 80s prom queen, the nurse adds to the camera. After trying on eight wedding dresses, Alan never found the one she liked, so she decided to go the custom route. Cameras followed her journey for nearly a year. They were rolling when she flew to New York City with her future mother-in-law and her mother, Jackie Gunn, for Bridal Market Week. It was her first trip to New York. Lori could tell that Rebecca was torn over the dresses and her favorite options. She just wouldn't be able to choose one dress, and the best option for her was to get a custom dress made for the main event at least. For many brides, finding the perfect wedding dress is one of the most challenging and exciting parts of wedding planning. It can take months of searching, trying on dozens of dresses, and visiting multiple bridal boutiques to find the one. However, even with all the effort put into finding the perfect wedding dress, it's not always possible to find a dress that ticks all the boxes. And that's exactly what happened to Rebecca. There's only one way to describe this dress. Out. Seeing that dress, incredible. Someone made this for you. It's beautiful. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. Oh my God. We go sit down, <gasps> go rest. Someone sat there for hours and days and months and made this with just you and mine. Lace, lace, and more lace. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is where the option of opting for a custom-made wedding dress comes in, but even that option has a ton of difficulties that come with it. It can be difficult to find a dressmaker or designer who is capable of creating the vision the bride has in mind. This can involve searching for someone who has experience with a specific style of dress or who has a similar aesthetic to the bride. Creating a custom-made dress can be time-consuming and requires multiple fittings. The process of creating a custom-made dress can take several months, and the bride may need to attend multiple fittings to ensure that the dress fits her perfectly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eating. Yeah, it's beautiful. Beckett, it is stunning. OMG. I feel like Cinderella. Royalty. <laughs> she is royalty. She's marrying my son. I love the uh, bodice of it and the way it fits the best. I love the sleeves. Would you change anything about it? No. Everything's beautiful. It's incredible. Tisha, I don't want you getting snot on your yes. dress. <laughs> Judd Waddell outdid himself. I mean, I am freaking blown away. It has little teeny weeny Swarovski crystals head to toe. It's understated and elegant. Stop the reception ball gown. Oh, I love this dress. Opting for a custom-made dress can be more expensive than buying a dress off the rack. A custom-made dress requires more time, effort, and resources to create, which can drive up the price significantly. But despite all these challenges, Rebecca found the perfect dressmaker for her. Alan chose three dresses for her special day, a wedding gown, a reception dress, and an exit dress. They flew out to meet Judd Waddell, who would design the wedding gown. Rebecca saw many options, and Lori nudged her towards the nicer options. Rebecca tried on quite a few dresses at Waddell Boutique, and they understood exactly what elements she was looking to incorporate in her own wedding dress. The end design for Alan's wedding gown featured long lace sleeves and a portrait neckline. The entire gown, including the long train, had hand-applied Swarovski crystals. As a personal touch, Alan carried her great-grandmother's handkerchief with her grandmother, mother, and sister's wedding dates embroidered on it and laces from their wedding dresses attached. They just couldn't believe how beautiful her dress actually was, and even Lori was left with her mouth hanging open. All she could say was that Becca looked absolutely stunning. Everyone from the family agreed that Waddell had outdone himself with the wedding gown, and there wasn't a single thing anyone would change about it. It was simply perfect. The next dress is the one for the reception and is just as beautiful and extremely elegant. A simple white flowy dress with exquisite black embroidery at the ends as well as black organza flowers. Rebecca is extremely happy with this dress too. This dress was done by Lazaro. Ivory organza and then it has a super special effect. We have black organza flower. It is a dress that would definitely make a statement in that ballroom. Wow. It's stunning. I love it. It's like stepping into a whole different kind of wedding. I love the color on it. I love the way it flows. It really is just a piece of artwork. Reception dress is totally amazing. Yeah, I have never seen a wedding gown like that. And she just can't stop smiling. The dress is absolutely stunning, and everyone watching is a fan. Becca describes it as a piece of art. The last gown is by Matthew Christopher and has a strong 50s vibe much different than the two dresses, but Rebecca is satisfied. In fact, she is ecstatic. The dress is a beautiful blue hue with a soft lace embroidery, as well as a fun little headpiece to go along with the dress that really pulls everything together. Becca, are you ready to try on your third and final dress? Oh, yes, I'm ready. We have one more gown. By Matthew Christopher, and it's very full, very full 50. Oh, oh how cute is that? that? Look at that. Oh, I love this. Oh thing. my God. Damani is absolutely obsessed with Jackie. I love a pillbox. I know you do, honey. He loves a pillbox hat. He loves a pillbox hat so much. Oh, oh how cute is that? He is and a fine and adorable. Darling. I love that. <laughs> So fun. It's like the icing on the cake. Corey and I got engaged, and I honestly thought I would just pick something off the rack, get over how excited I am, and I just can't wait to wear them. I don't want to get choked up. It's really important to me that Becca is happy, she loves her dresses, and they have the wedding of their dreams. So many designers came to the wedding, and Lori just teared up because these are the people she works with and well respected names in the industry. All the designers of the dresses that Rebecca wore came as well, which really shows they stand by their work and know how amazing it is. It's really important to me that Becca is happy, she loves her dresses, 
and they have the wedding of their dreams. So the top designers in the country are there. Judd Waddell, Lazaro, Maria from Waters and Waters, Tony Federici, Reed and Tony that owns Ravini, and then see Melissa and Flo and Robin, and these people are my family. People that I work with and the designers, I mean, they all came. Corey and Becca, since it is your intention to be married, turn and face one another. Corey, take you, Becca. To be my wife. Your loving and faithful wife. It's uh, beautiful, it was just the whole dress was sparkling, the whole church is lighting up. Oh, Corey. <laughs> This ring I give you. Oh my gosh, Becca took my breath away. I, I really felt like I was seeing a princess. Rebecca advises future brides to have patience and address shop with an open mind. She said the people you surround yourself with are also important. And if all else fails, she suggests the custom route. Rebecca's story shows us that finding the perfect wedding dress can be a difficult and time-consuming process. While opting for a custom-made dress can offer the bride a unique and personalized option, it comes with its own set of challenges. It's important for brides to carefully consider their options and work with a trusted designer or dressmaker to create a dress that will make them feel beautiful and confident on their special day. A custom-made wedding dress allows the bride to create a dress that is unique to her style and preferences and it might just be the perfect option for some brides. I feel so calm because I know in my heart this is the right thing. I'm meant to spend the rest of my life with this man. The favorite part of the reception was probably the first dance. We practiced just a couple times. I thought we were professional dancers that had a choreograph. Nope, we did it like the night before. Cake, oh my god. That cake was incredible. Love, love, love the cake. <laughs> it just really makes a statement just getting together and it was absolutely beautiful. It's a nice seat at dinner, and then the party start. Our goal is to have a great, fabulous time. It was great. I don't think anything went wrong. That's all for today's video. See you next time.